Hi, everybody. It's Sandra, and I have my mom here. Hi, everybody, and hello to Susan and Jim. Hi, Susan and Jim. How are you guys doing? Today, we're going to have a look at some of that estate jewelry that I bought. I bought two large lots, and we're just going to be able to get to a little bit of it today. We're going to have a lot of sterling silver, a lot of vintage antique kind of stuff, and also some sterling silver rings. Please let us know what your favorites are below. Consider subscribing to the channel if you don't mind, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And away we go. And away we go. I like it. I love vintage jewelry like this. Look at the two light blue rhinestones in the bottom. Too close, I think. Nice condition. I don't know if this one is gold filled. It, it's probably just costume. I love it though. I love the movement. I love the faux pearl in the center. And of course, black will always take it everywhere. Let's put this on our neck and see how it looks. Yep. This is a good one. Yes, it is. I love it. I love it. This looks very 30s. I think it could be 40s. No mark that I could see. And let's take a look at what the drop is. This might not be long enough, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. So it is about, what is that? Eight, eight and a half inches or so as a drop. I actually got this one a while back and I've been wearing it, but I am ready to let it have a new owner. It's a beautiful vintage necklace. This bracelet is super cool. I love the colors. This one looks very 40s. There is some wear to the metal on the back. And also the stones are a little bit scratched, nothing terrible. If you wear it, it really wouldn't show, and it does need to be cleaned a little bit. See how the stones have a little bit of dirt on them? I love this bracelet. This one I would keep for myself, but it is too small for me, but it's killer. How different is that? And it's so clearly old. Look at the colors. That's so cool. Oh, I love you. I really love you. Let's see how long you are. It's a fold over clasp. Yeah, it's not even a seven. Kind of like a maybe a seven and three quarters. Oh, it's beautiful. Truly, I've never seen one like this. I tried to do a reverse Google search. I couldn't find anything that is even close to this. Love it. Beautiful glass, beautiful colors, great vintage piece. Look at this amazing turquoise. That's great. Of course, this is sterling silver. This is 925 right there. I love that this is a brooch or a pendant. That looks nice. Yep. yep. It is good to have the option. It really is. So I'm going to put it on my torque. I won't include the torque, but I just want to show you what, what this thing looks like. That is killer. That yeah. is actually killer. Yeah. Wow. It doesn't really fit on this. So this neck thing so great. It's so big. Let's put this on our mat too. And we'll, we'll see exactly what the measurement is. It's nice and heavy. Lots and lots of silver on this. It is about two and a half inches or so. I love the shades of turquoise in this one. That's a beautiful item. It is. It is beautiful. Wow. Good luck finding another one of these. Very unique. So one of the collections I bought out, this person was across 
person and there's tons of crosses. This is incredibly beautiful. Look at the bale. These are garnets and pearls. And this is a Nick, Nikki Butler. There's a signature. Of course, it's sterling. That's amazing. And I want to point out, this is kind of a big thing. This necklace part is also sterling. And this is also a Nikki Butler. Beautiful. See the NB? It's really It's beautiful. heavy. Oh, this is it. really heavy. I will try to put it on the neck, but I think it's going to be too, yeah, it's not going to fit. Oh. But there. take a look at that. Yeah, you're right. Let me so see if I can do that. You have to see it oh. to believe it. Look mm -mm. at that. Mm -mm. I'm not really doing such a great job. I but can hold it. No, that's okay. That's okay. I think that's a pretty good representation of... It's it's just beautiful. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Nikki Butler has such quality things. Check that out. Look how flat the setting oh, is. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. It's incredible. It's incredible. And all the, not only the shade of red, which is beautiful. Let's take a look at how translucent it is too. The shade of red is so beautiful, but look at that center stone. That's no joke. That is a big stone right there. And we have all the different shapes of stones. Heavy. Again, with this necklace, especially, this is a really heavy piece. And the bale. The Isn't bale is just the, the kind of crowning glory yes. to it. Yes. Incredible. Yes. Look at this ring, Mom. Oh, it is a knockout. Yep, it, it certainly it, is. It is. Really. It is. It changes color. Yep, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful rainbow effect. I love Druzy's. I'm going to put this a little bit more into the light because I'm not sure the, that is beautiful. the camera is capturing it. I love it. Mm -hmm. This is sterling silver. This is a heavy piece. To me, this is, well, it's so feminine and so pretty. But it's a conversation piece, I think. Sure is. It's very different. I love the band. This is uh, made in India. It is sterling silver and it's marked CL. I don't know who CL is. I don't know who that is. It is about a size, what is that? Seven and a quarter or so. Oh, you are beautiful, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Wow. Let me also just measure the top of it because some people like to know that. It's about an inch or so. This is a lovely statement ring. Oh, I love it. I love Druzy's. I love the pink. It's like pink and gold. I love the frame. I love the band. I'm in love. Here's another beautiful Druzy. This one is much smaller. It's more delicate. Not everybody likes the gigantic blingy ones. We do, right, Mom? We do, and you know yellow is my favorite color, so I love yep, that. Yep, yep. It, it is. It's dainty, but I love the gold Druzy. Now, this one is also sterling. I think all the rings are sterling. Well, who does that say? Let me look. It says 925V3. I don't know who that is. Let's take a look at the size. Oh, V3 did a good job. <laughs> v. Oh, I think it said V3. V3, yeah. Did a good job. Good job, V3. Well, this is a size 8. That's a great size. Nice and common. Will fit a lot of, a lot of different people. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. No two alike, for sure. Just the way this is cut and everything. I love the gold and the silver together. Yes. Beautiful. Let's also... Is that your stomach growling, Mom? Or is that my pickles? It's your dog. <laughs> She's fussy. She's in the other room. She wants to be with us. So this one is about a half inch or so. Lovely. This is a beautiful sterling silver ring. The diamonds look real, that's for sure. And I don't know what kind of stone that is. It it looks like an, an opal, but I, I don't know what it is. I know the experts out there will know. I'm not sure it matters. It's just beautiful. So this one is marked PJC, and it is 925. Let's see if we can get it. 
Yeah, PJC 925 China. It's beautiful. Also note the condition on these. Part of the thing that I really liked about this collection, Mom, is stuff seemed like it was not worn. Yes. Yeah, somebody just bought this stuff like crazy, but but didn't wear it. Sure. That's what it appears anyway. That's a pretty uh, stone. I'm going to put that more in the light. It's about a seven and a quarter or so. Let's see if I can if I can show you what I see when I look at it. See that? See all the different colors? It certainly is. It has a, a kind of a dragon's breath vibe. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's beautiful. I love the shoulders. Pretty piece. This is very interesting. This is a desert rose trading. Look at that giant stone. And it's not an octagon one, two. Yeah, I, is that a hexagon, Mom, when it has six sides? Yes. Is it? Mm -hmm. Is it? I'm not sure. I think you're just yes yes and me. <laughs> <laughs> okay well we're not sure what it is i think it's a hexagon okay. it's very cool it's so chunky lots of silver i like this one it's sort of groovy or something about a size seven it's kind of got a cool like bohemian hippie thing i think really nice thick stone and it's about an inch or so. And there's the signature Desert Rose Trading. And then it says China 925. I like the band on this one. I love everything about this one. I like the band too, Sandy. Yep. It's uh, kind of nice. It's yeah. cool. Different. Yeah. Different. And it's comfortable too on. This one is a size eight. Oh, this one is cool. Now let's see where the mark is. There it is, 925. Thailand. Um, I don't know what that other mark is. Not sure. See that? I don't know what that is. This is really nice. These have something inside. It's like a, a form inside of these. Let me back up. Look how big that is. It's so different. I love the textures of it. Let's see how big this measures on our measurer. Yeah, more than an inch, like an inch and a half. This is another one that's very unique. These are not run of the mill items. Definitely get you noticed. I like the height on this too. Look at that. Neat. It's like a, a knot. A it thing. does. It looks like a knot, like a ribbony sort of. It's just, yeah. it's very textured. Look at this amazing old necklace. This is an oldie. I believe this is Czech garnet glass. I don't think these are garnets. But I love it. It doesn't matter. They look like garnets. I love Czech glass. Let's, first of all, figure out the drop. That is about what? About a seven and a half inch drop or so. It's in nice condition too. Look how sparkly that glass is. Let me just pull it into the light a little bit. Sometimes my camera doesn't show things the way that my eyes see them. It's just the, the lighting or whatever, or my camera. Um, let's put this on the neck. My camera just is really not capturing this. Well, the, the sparkle, it does hit the light um, and show. It's very rich looking. It is rich looking. It's just a beautiful garnet red. I love the beads yeah. too, the small beads yes. and then the flowers. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful piece from days gone by. Wow. Yep, it's a good one. I want to show you this beautiful deco brooch, Mom. Check this out. This is fantastic. Oh, 
Look at the colors. Yes. You can see gosh. it through the camera lens, right? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. Prong set. Look at the paste. Mm. This is so nice. This one I'm definitely going to pull into the light. How beautiful is that? And then just the enamel. The enameling is in really nice shape. I think those two ends are enameling. And of course, around the stones is enameling. Around the stones really lights up. Yes, it does. It's a really pretty shade mm -hmm. of aqua. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm tempted to keep this one. It's it's really don't insanely do cool. Do it. Yeah, I have enough. I do have enough. It's lovely. It's a wow. Yeah, it is. This necklace, I've just never seen anything like it. Have you? I have never seen anything like it. No. I love it. Now... The centers are glass. I think they're glass. I don't think they're stone or shell. Uh, mm, hmm. This is lovely. It truly yes. is. I, I love it. Now, the pink parts are an old, old plastic. Really? Barrel clasp. I mean, I really love it. I hope you guys do too. It's so different. I love the the color combination. There's something very like modern looking about it, even though it's an old piece. Never saw anything quite I've like I've never this seen. Thing. It's like sand sandwiched between just the the lovely old pink plastic. I'm just trying to check out the condition. It really looks excellent. Yeah, it could be cleaned could use a cleaning. I think the combination is very interesting. So you have the kind of the jade green, the white, then with the pink, and then the spacers are gold. I think it's very creative. Let's just take a look at the drop. This is about 18 inches long. Kind of shows up better on the black, doesn't it? Let me just turn this over. This mat is all scratched up and stuff. Nice size. Yeah. I like the size too. Yes. It's very, very unique. Here's a lovely antique book chain necklace. This is very long. It has a 21 inch drop. There's no closure. This just slips over your head. It's taking a look at the condition. It's a nice shape. It definitely has a little bit of age wear. Like right there, for example. Oh, that might just be schmutzy stuff, actually. This is so cool. Really long. It's not going to fit my neck, so I won't even do it, but... I love antique book chain necklaces. This is lovely. It's long. What I really like about necklaces like this too, mom, is you could put another necklace with it. You oh, could sure. Sure. layer it, if you will. Yes. That's a great old thing. This is amazing. This is some sort of old, old plastic. And there's some problems here. It's broken. It was a a brooch at one point. I don't know if it can be fixed or not. I'm sure someone has the know-how or maybe you could put a loop on it and make it into a necklace. Oh, it's such a shame. It is it is truly beautiful, but I know people repair jewelry, mom, and that's why I'm thinking somebody might be able to do something sure. with this. It's beautiful. Here's another old piece. This has an eight inch drop. Let's have a look at this. Now, these two beads right here are white because they lost their pearl, their pearl coating. So I'll just point that out. This is likely check. It's beautiful. This one looks very 30s. Nice box clasp. Let's take a look Fancy at it on. Huh? Yes. Yep. Definitely. I love this. And you know, 
I know who loves that color, right, yes, Mom? Yes, yes, I'm just admiring it here. Yeah, it's beautiful. Happy um, color. Happy color, and I love the little flowers. Can you see the flowers right there that are hanging down I over can, the yes. stone? Yeah. That's a great old thing. Look at this. I thought this was a brooch at first, but it's not. It's a necklace. It's a lovely necklace at that. And let's see what the drop is. What is it? About a six and a half inch drop, maybe? Beautiful yellowy stones. I love this. It's so 40s. I love the chain. Check that out. It's double here. That clasp might not be original to it. It looks kind of new, doesn't it? It does say gold filled on the clasp. The piece may be. It may not be. Look at it no, on. I one quite like it. No. Oh, I never have. No, no. I never have. Oh, this lighting. I don't know what's going on. It's a rainy day. We usually have sunshine in here. I think that's kind of the culprit. It, it really is prettier in person. I love it. Look at this cross. Mm -hmm. Look at those moonstones. Oh gosh, I love them. Yep. These moonstones are particularly blue. Isn't that nice? I thought they were opals at first, but I don't think so. Take a look at those amethysts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. I love the slenderness of this one. It's a Nikki Butler. Mm. Of course it is. It's beautiful. Wow. Now the chain is about 28 inches or so. So let's see if we can I'll kind of hold it here and we'll we'll just look at it so you can see what it looks like. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's exquisite, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wow, those moonstones. I don't know what these peach colored stones are. I'm not soft. sure. It is soft. Yes. I like that word. You're right, mom. The coloring is soft. Yes, it is. Incredible. This is a very cool piece of turquoise. I don't know what kind it is. Very pretty matrix. No chain on this one. No big deal to... Well, I guess you'd have to have a thin chain unless you put a bigger bale on it. It is lovely, though. That's a nice big chunk. Want to just see how big it is? Let's take a look. It's that big. Like an inch and a half, counting the... Inch the, and a half? Yeah, it's about an inch and a half. Okay. That would look very cool. This is a great bracelet from the 40s, maybe the 50s. I love the rhinestones. I don't think there's any missing, but I like the way that they're in semicircles. Now there is some wear on the back to the gold tone, just sort of rubbed away with use. Somebody loved this and wore this one a lot, which I think is charming. Let's take a look at the size. About a size and a quarter, uh, uh, seven and a quarter rather, seven and a half ish. It's pretty. I want to show it to you from the side too because it has some. It's just not super super flat. I love the swirls. I love this little pin. Yes. Look at this is a nice old thing, isn't it? Looks good on the black. This is costume. It's certainly done in the style of platinum. No, oh, it's so pretty. Would go on anything and just mm -hmm. not uh, hit you in the face. Just lovely. Yeah, 
It's very, very, very delicate. Yes. Yeah, understated. You know, this would look nice on a collar. Oh, it would. It would. Beautiful. Look at this old, old cross. This one is costume. Now, this one was a stanhope in the day, but there is nothing in there that I can see. It's still beautiful. And I don't know if this chain is original to it. It it might be. It might not be. I feel like the chain isn't as delicate, well, delicate enough for this, this cross. I love the purple, though. The purple and the clear. This probably brought somebody a, a lot of comfort many, many decades ago, oh, right, lovely. Mom? It's lovely. That's kind of what I like about it. It has yes. built-in prayers from, from somebody. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. That's just got a lot of personality or something. I didn't see any marks on it, but... What a lovely old yes, item. Be easy again to wear every day. Yep. Look at this hunk of burn and love. Talk about sparkle. Yep. And I love the finding. Look at that. And it is sterling silver too, which is a sign of a of a better piece. Sure. Look at all those facets. I'm thinking this is rock crystal and not just your regular old glass. It could be leaded glass. I don't think so though. I'll test it. I'll say it's rock crystal and then I'll, I'll test it if anybody buys it. So I'll guarantee that it is. And if it isn't and you reach out, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that. What a beauty. Yep. It's really oh, sparkling yes. like mad. It sure is. Wow. I love the length too. This would go with anything. Imagine this in the summer. Yeah. with a little summer dress oh, yes. off the shoulder, and then you have this. Or it's also very elegant for a, a wedding or something. Oh, it sure would. Let's take a look at the drop. So it's about an, an eight inch drop or so, so it's about 16 inches long. Let's just take a look at it on the, on the black. I might, my beat up old thing. I got this thing at a yard sale. I should just buy a new one on Amazon because it's somebody like cut stuff on it. Got it dirty and everything too, but wow. It's amazing. That's truly amazing. This is such a cool mod ring. I believe that is an opal. Let me just bring it in the light. I I think so. And that is a garnet. Let me just make sure, yeah. See, I think that's an opal. This has a lot of silver on it. This is nice and heavy. It's beautiful. First of all, let's take a look at it on the hand so you can see it's what unusual. it would look like on. It's really, really unusual. I love unusual things. Nobody else is going to be wearing this one, that's for sure. Oh, no, and it's elongated, so it's very flattering. Yeah, I love that too, that elongated. I agree. I agree. And look at the sides, it's just massive. It's so different. I love that it has an oval stone and then a rectangular stone. And this one is just marked 925. That's the only mark I saw. And I think this one is big too. Let's take a look at the size. Look at that. Almost a size 11. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. This would be great on your index finger, middle finger, what have you. Heavy, mod, love it. This one is marked LR, and then it says 925. That's very cool. I like the flowers right there. Look at that, that sort of cutout. That's different. I think this one is a, a big one. This one is a size 10. Very cool. Let's put it on the hand. The hand gives us a nice representation of what it would look like on. It's kind of too big. Let me see if it will fit the index finger. Yeah, a little bit better here. 
Oh, it up Let's right have here. a look. Yes. Yeah. Look. Mm -hmm. It. I mean, it doesn't. It's not really fitting perfectly, but you get the idea. Yes. Of what it would look like on. I'll bring it into the light a little bit more. I love it. It's so neutral. Yes. Cool. This is amazing. This is a Sajin. This is a very collectible name brand. It's an expensive brand. You can see why. It's beautiful. I love how wide the band is. And I also love purple and green together. That is a beautiful thing. And that's what the back looks like. So it's, it, unusual thing, it's a unusual. little bit, yes, I think it is too. There it is, Sage in 925. It's a little bit adjustable. Mm -hmm. This could be opened a little bit, a little bit. Let's check out the size. Hmm, what is that? The size seven and three quarters or so. Oh, it's beautiful. Let me just bring it up into the light again. Nice condition too. Oh, lovely. That is truly lovely. Well, here's a ring you don't see every day. Look at this elephant, a flower. This one's nice and wide too. That is super fun. Now this one is not 925, it is 825. So it has less silver, of course, than 925. And it is marked Thai for Thailand. And then it says NF, which I think is nickel free, but people tell me that's also a maker. I don't know if that's true or not, but. And this one looks to be a seven and a half or so. This one is so, different oops just rolled away it's so different well he's good luck he is good luck his trunk is up mm -hmm. with the little flowers i love the texturing on this one and another one that could be could be pulled apart a little bit and be made a little bit bigger it's really cute isn't this a pretty little hand painted pin isn't yes. that sweet oh I love the purple and the green together. I just love that combination. Nice condition. See, it's just a little thing. Let's see how big it is. This is another very feminine one. Very girly. Oh, you are sweet. It's not transfer where I, I believe that's just all hand painted. There's talent for you. Yeah, I think so too. I think it's very nicely painted. Look at this fun brooch. This one says Czechoslovakia right there. I love it. It looks like coral, but those are just coral beads, I think. Let me take a look at how big it is. I've never seen anything like it. I think it's very fun. Nice old piece. Look at this pretty ring. I wonder if that's carved turquoise. I don't know. It is signed Bars right there. I love Bars. In there it says 925. Oops. And then it says Thailand also. I'm always dropping everything because I'm trying to like not put my fingers on it too much. <laughs> and I <laughs> I lose my grip. So close up, Sandy. Yes, I'm trying to get it close. Look at that. That's a great piece. I love the shade of it's a deep green. Yeah, it's and it definitely has almost like hints a of blue. Deep, deep backwards. It's mm hmm It's beautifully carved. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the size. Just about an eight, a little bit under. Good name brand. Nice. I think so too. Look at this pretty thing. This pendant matches the ring. Bars 925. Let's take a look at the size. Nice chunky piece. 
beautiful, I think, carved turquoise. Gorgeous. Here is the last item for today. Will you look at that? Nice and heavy, lots and lots of silver. Look at the beautiful amethyst in this. Here's another Nikki Butler. Beautiful silver. This one has the Nikki Butler chain too. We'll have a look at how big it is. It's Oh, it's going to be too long for the neck. I want to point out the bail, Mom. Look at the bail. Oh, yes. Some of the better ones. Yep. Just, it's just a little extra. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't this nice? Yes. Yes. I love it. I can't really do it right because I'm trying to hold the camera and I'm trying to hold the thing. But you can see how, how magnificent this is, truly. Look at it from the side. I love the the beading too around here. It's so pretty. I love the shape of this cross. Let's see how big it is. And it is heavy. It's more than three inches. Oh, those colors. Let's see how long the chain is. This is probably not going to. No, three, it isn't. Three plus inches, Sandy. Yep. Let's see. Nine. 10, 11, so it's about 22 inches long or so. Oh, that's a good one. So beautiful. I'm gonna just bring this into the light. Open back so the, the light comes through. It really is. It's so old looking, you know? It looks like it's from the Renaissance or something in that style. Love, love that. Well, I hope you guys loved watching this video. I hope if you just came to watch, you enjoyed it. I hope if you want to buy something, you also enjoyed it. Just reach out to us, okay, at IamTheFunkyPickle at gmail.com. Let us know what you'd like to buy, and we will hook you up. All right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one, okay?